In this video, we will see how we can find out the left view and the right view of a binary tree using recursive method. So we are given this binary tree and we have to find the left view and the right view. Let's first understand what is left view. So when you view this tree from the left direction, which nodes of this tree will be visible? So that will be part of the left view. So the nodes that will be visible are A, D, H, P and G. Because D is in front of Z, so Z will be hidden. Similarly, H is in front of L and C, so these will be hidden. P is in front of B, so B will be hidden. So the nodes that will be visible are A, D, H, P and G. So this is the left view of this tree. And for the right view, we have to see this tree from the right direction. So the nodes that will be visible, that will be part of the right view. So the nodes that will be visible are A, Z, C, B and G. Because Z is in front of D, so D will be hidden. C is in front of H and L, so these will be hidden. And B is in front of P, so P will be hidden. So the nodes in the right view are A, Z, C, B, G. So we have to write an algorithm by which we can find the left view and the right view of any binary tree. Let's first see the algorithm for the left view. So the left view can be found both by recursive method and by iterative method. In this video, we'll focus on the recursive approach. Let's see the pseudocode. So we keep a variable max level in which we store the maximum level that we have attained so far. We are initializing it with minus one. Then we have a function left view, which takes two parameters, a node of the tree and a variable level. The first call to this function will be for the parameters a comma zero, because a is the root node and the level of the root node is zero. Then we check if node is null, so node is A, it is not null. Then we check the maximum level is less than level. So maximum level is minus one and the level is zero. So this is true. So we print the value of node. So we print the value of A. And then we set maximum level equal to level. So maximum level will be zero now. And then we call left view function with the left of A and level plus one. So we go to D, so at A the level is zero and at D the level is one. So now the node is D and the level is one. We check if it is null and then we compare maximum level with level. So maximum level is zero and the level is one. So this is true, we print the value of node. So we print D and then we set maximum level equal to level. So maximum level will be one. And then we call left view with the left of node. So left of node is H. So at H, the level will be two. So now the node is H and the level is two. We check if it is null and then we compare maximum level with level. So one is less than two, we come inside and we print the value of node. So we print H and then we set maximum level equal to level. So maximum level will be two now. And then we call this function left view with the parameters null and three because left of H is null. So the node is null and the level is three. When node is null, we return from here. And then we call for the right of H. So right of H is also null. So this function also returns. Now the function call to H ends and the control goes back to D. So for D now we have to go in the right direction. So here the level is the node value is L and the level is two. We check if node is null. Then we check if max level is less than level. So max level is two and the level is also two. So this condition is not true. Now we call left view for the left of L. So left of L is null. So this function would return. And then we call for the right of L. So right of L is P and level will be three. So at P the level is three. Now we check if node is null and then we compare maximum level with level. So maximum level is two and the level is three. So we come inside and we print the value of node. So we print P and then we set maximum level equal to level. So maximum level will be three. And then we call this left view function for the left and right of P. 
So left and right both are null. So this function will return from here. So now the function called to p ends, we return at l. The function called to l also ends, we return to d. The function called to d ends, we return to a. And now for a, we have to go in the right direction. So at z, the level is 1. So the node is z and the level is 1. We check if node is null and then we compare maximum level with level. So maximum level is 3 and the level is 1. So this is not true. Then we check the left of z. So we come to C and here the level is 2. So the node is C and the level is 2. We check if it is null. We compare maximum level with level. So this is not true. And then we go in the left direction of C. So at B, the level is 3. Now we go to the left of B, but the left of B is null. So we return and then we go in the right of B. So at G, the level will be 4. So the node is G and the level is 4. We check if it is null and then we compare maximum level with level. So maximum level is 3 and the level is 4. So this is true. We print the value of node. The node is G and then we set maximum level to level. So the maximum level will be 4. And then we go in the left and right direction of G. So left and right both are null. So we return from there and now the function called to G ends. So we go back to B. The function called to B ends, we go back to C. Now the right of C is null, so it returns the control back. Now we go to Z. The right of Z is also null, so we return back to Z. And then we return back to A. So the recursion terminates and this is the output that we have obtained. So this is the left view. A, D, H, P, G. So this max level variable help us to find out which is the first node of that level. Because for the first node, this condition will be true. Maximum level is less than level. If that condition is true, we print the value of node and then we set the value of max level. So that means for the remaining nodes of that level, we need not print them. If we look at the time complexity of this method, the time complexity is order of n because we are traversing the tree only once. Now let's see what are the changes that would be required to get the right view using recursion. So the right view algorithm is very similar to the left view one. The only difference being that first we go in the right direction and then we go in the left direction. Because now we have to get the node which is the first when we are seeing the tree from the right direction. So A, Z, C, B and G. So this will be the right view of this tree. So when we view this tree from the right direction, this max level variable will help us to keep track of which node is the first one of that level. Because at that point, the max level will be less than the level. So in this method, the change is only in the order. So here first we visit the right subtree and then we visit the left subtree. Everything else is the same as the left view code. The time complexity of this method is also order of n. Now once you've understood this method, let's have a look at the implementation. So all the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I've created this tree. The root node is A and the left of A is D. So in this manner, I've initialized all the nodes of the tree. There are set a variable maximum level, which I've initialized with minus one. And I call this function left view with the root of the tree, this maximum level and the value zero, which will be the initial level. In this function left view, I check if the node is null, then I return. Then I compare the maximum level with the level. If maximum level is less, I print the node and then I set the maximum level to level. Then I call this function left view for the left subtree and I increment the level and then I call it for the right subtree and I increment the level. And for finding the right view, I just reverse this order. So first I go in the right subtree and then I go in the left subtree. Now let's see the output of this program. So the left view of the tree is ADHPG and the right view is AZCPG. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.